everyone, welcome to Love and Lux. Today we have a small unboxing. Um, let's just get right into it. One of these, um, I'm not sure which one is which, but one of these is not something that um, I bought. It's actually something that I brought in um, to get hot stamped. So it might be this one. Let's do this one first. The draw box is really, really um, hard to open. And if you follow my um, <clears throat> channel or you watch some of my older videos, then you know one day I went for a walk with my husband and I talked about how I needed to get my small ring agenda hot stamped. Um, I have the medi medium ring agenda hot stamped and I got that one done a long time ago. When I bought this, I bought this in the same store that I bought this from. Um, and when I bought this, they were too busy and I would have I would have had to have left it at the Louis Vuitton store for a few days. And back then, um, they were able to hot stamp it right then and there. Um, I've been told back in the day, I used to, they used to say, um, okay, well, we'll do it right now and just wait around for a few minutes in the store or, um, it'll take 30 minutes. It'll take an hour. The longest they ever told me was three hours. So when I bought this a few years ago and they said, well, we're going to have to keep it for a few days. I was confused. I was like, why is it going to take a few days just to go and hot stamp it? I'm not really understanding. So I thought to myself, no, that's okay. Um, I'll come back another day when you guys aren't that busy. Um, now it looks like when you buy things and you want them to be hot stamped, they typically do ask you to leave your stuff there. And then, um, yeah, you come get it a few days later. So just for the record, I dropped my stuff off. Well, I bought this and I brought this with me because I knew I was buying it. And I figured, okay, since I'm going to be there, I'll go ahead and um, get this hot stamped. Because I've had it for years and I never did. Um, so yeah, I went in there, I got this. And um, when I was paying for this, or actually my husband bought this for me. So when he was paying for it, I asked, oh, can I get this hot stamped? And this as well. I brought this, you know, obviously from home. And she was like, yeah, but we're going to have to keep it till Monday. And it was Thursday. And so I was just like, okay, no problem. I expected they would say that. And I was expecting to leave this there for a few days. And then when we walked out, my husband was like, today's Thursday. Do you really, do they really need to keep it until Monday? And I was like, I guess that's the way they're doing it now. So I, I didn't have any problem with leaving it up there. But... Let me just open it and show you guys. First, I think I should show you guys my luggage tag that I bought to go with my Speedy Bandolier 30. The Speedy Bandolier 30 is my um, is the favorite size as far as the Speedy goes for me. Uh, I'm about 5'7", and when I first, when I bought my first, so far I've only bought three Speedy Bandoliers. And when I bought my first one, it was the monogram one, the one I still have. I had the Damier Bean and, and, and um, in the speedy 30 as well but you guys know sometimes i give my stuff to my daughter so that's what i did and um i kept the monogram when i first went to the louis vuitton store to buy my first speedy i had her pull out a 25 and a 30. she pulled out the 25 first and i was like oh my god that's so small and then when she bought the 30 i saw how big the 30 was in comparison to the 25 I figured I'll make the 30 work because a 25 to me just seemed too small. Now, moving forward, I did wind up buying a Speedy 25, but that's an Epi leather. That's a whole nother story. But anyways, um, I bought this to go with my Speedy 30, Speedy Bandolier 30. And everything that I get initialed is always this way. So it's the three initials um, with the two dots, right? And I'll always get the same size. Unless the item is too small, then I get, obviously, the... Um, it's going to be smaller. The hot stamping is going to be smaller. So, you know, when you go into the store to get your items hot stamped, they have you fill out the little card and they pull out the little clear thing and then they put it over the item and you make sure it's going to look the way you look. So you agree on it, sign off on it, and then you come back and pick it up when it's done. So this is the way I have everything hot stamped, the things that I do have hot stamped. So we'll open this up and take a look at this. Keep in mind, when I went to get my, um, when I did go pick up my stuff, um, well, okay, that's a story for later. Let me just open it up and show you. So, what do you guys think? It's placed very low right above this writing right here. 
and it's so squished in that you can really I mean you could barely even see the dots in between each three the, the three letters it's like everything kind of touches and it's kind of like squished down I um, wanted it to be like this like I wanted to be higher and in the middle more like spaced in the middle more with all this empty space I don't know why you would put it way down here and why would you mush it together like that I heard a horror story of another woman who had an item hot stamped and she mentioned that it was crooked like she showed the hot stamping and it was slightly crooked and they were telling her oh well you know it's not guaranteed that it's gonna come out perfect um, and I saw that video it's an older video but I saw that video like the day before I went to go pick up my stuff and I was like oh my gosh I hope they do my stuff right so when I went to the store to pick this um, and this up they told me um, the lady was like um, you know when you first walk in and they're like oh um, can I help you and I was like oh I just want to pick up my hot stamped items and she was like oh, okay well did they um, call you and say it was going to be ready and I was like no but she did say come back on Monday because it should be ready then and then she was like okay well let me see if it's ready and she was like really rude like first of all I didn't know like this is my first time leaving my stuff there to get it hot stamped I had no idea that I wasn't supposed to come up there until um they called me so yeah if if you're not supposed to go and pick it up until they call you and tell you that it's ready then it would have been nice if she if she said that I, maybe she thought that I, I'm not sure like when they pull up your information on the computer I'm not sure what they see do they see your purchase history can they see all the other items that I have hot stamped maybe she didn't feel the need to tell me that because maybe she thought I already knew it's hard to to say because um I don't I'm not sure what they know you know when they look your stuff up in the computer um at the time when I when I um when this was being purchased so when I um when she when she said let me go check um <clears throat> the lady who hot stamped this when when we went in there and I got this she was telling me that um oh I'm over the hot stamping and oh yeah blah 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 so I'm thinking oh great uh, there shouldn't be any reason why my it, you know why my items shouldn't come out right if she's over the whole hot stamping thing or wh however she was saying it um so I felt pretty confident leaving my stuff and dropping it off with her so yeah when I went back up there to get my stuff um the lady who asked me well did they call you and say it was ready um she went back there and um the lady that sold me this item and said she was going to hot stamp it she went back to the back to talk to her they both came out and walked up to my husband and I and the lady that um sold me this and said she was over the hot stamping she was like oh keep in mind this was like later in the day um, she was like, oh, um, I was going to call you because your item isn't going to be ready until tomorrow. And we only have one of your items hot stamped. But since you're here, can you come back in like two hours? And I was like, um, yeah, sure. I get, yeah, sure. I can come back. Um, in two hours. So my husband and I were planning to go out to eat anyways, but we were going to go out to eat after we had picked this up. So we just went out to eat, had a good time, enjoyed our meal, and then we went back up there. And actually, before we went back up there, um, I, I got an email. I got an email and they said my item, my hot stamped item was ready to be picked up. And then luckily we were just finishing up with our meal and we went up there to get it. So when we walked back into the Louis Vuitton store, a guy was like, oh, can I help you? And I told him again, I'm here to pick up my hot stamped items. He asked for a receipt. Um which is this and I gave it to him and he said okay he walked back there a few I don't know maybe like two minutes later he walked out with my bag and handed me my bag and was like okay thanks for coming in so from my experience and keep in mind I haven't bought anything from Louis Vuitton like in the actual store probably in a year the last thing I walked inside the Louis Vuitton store to get was my never full GM and Damier Azure and I want to say that was in the summer of 2022. So I haven't been inside, I don't think any Louis Vuitton store since then, but I have made purchases online. So when he brought me the bag and was like, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for coming in. I was like, so no one's going to open it and show me and anything is just walk off without even looking at it. So I had to put the bag on the counter 
were right in the front like the very first counter when you walk in so i put the bag on the counter and then i just opened it myself to take a look at it and my husband was like well what do you think and i was like i could see right away that it didn't look exactly the way i expected it to but it took me a minute to put my finger on it and i said well i guess it's i guess it's good enough i mean my main thing is i actually want to take this stuff home so i can do a youtube video on it and show people um yeah, because when you tell them how you want it to look and they write it down and you sign off on it, when you go pick your item up, it should be what you asked for. Um, I didn't ask for it to be way down here right above the lettering or writing or whatever. And I didn't ask for it to be squeezed in together where the letters are touching the little dots here. I'm not really sure why she did it like that. It's not so bad to where I'm not going to keep it. It's just that I wanted to come on here and share share my experience. Um, and also talking about sharing my experience, I'm going to say that I'm going to try to avoid going into that, that specific Louis Vuitton store um, because every time when I go in there, I always have an experience where the sales associates... Not all of them, but majority of them have this horrible attitude. And um, I'm not really sure why that is. And I'm not going to take it personal because I think they are probably like that with everybody. And honestly, I think like the experience of popping in, buying my item and leaving um, isn't, it doesn't feel like a luxurious experience. Um, I was able to look at because when I first went in the store, I was able to um, look at a lot of stuff because it was a bit crowded and, um, you know, I had to wait around to get to get help. Um, but I didn't have to wait too long, maybe like five minutes. So while I was my husband and I were in the store waiting, I was able to look at a lot of items, a lot of the items that I've seen online. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just I don't think I'm going to be first of all, I don't shop that much anyways. But second of all. Um, if I do spend my money now, keep in mind, there are a few more things that I want to get from Louis Vuitton. They're classic items that I plan on, you know, if I wind up buying it, keeping it. But, um, yeah, I can just buy those online. I don't think the experience you get inside of the store is even worth my mileage on my car, my gas money, getting dressed. It ain't even worth a squirt of perfume. So... Um, and I'm not going to say that about every Louis Vuitton store, but this specific, I'm not even, when I, when I open this receipt to show you guys the, um, dollar amount, I'm going to not show the sales associates card and I'm not going to show what store it was in. I mean, you guys know I'm in California, but this store, no. Anyways, <clears throat> so this is what it looks like. My little initials there is not is nothing like what I was expecting, but I know when they hot stamp the item, it's pretty much yours and you're stuck with it. And um, at the end of the day, I can live with it. It's not what I was expecting, but um, yeah, I'm I'm just gonna accept it and keep using it. Unfortunately, it's, it's it's not that bad to where I hate it. I feel like every time when I use this item and this one. I'm going to look down at this and remember that experience. And then I'm going to do some voodoo. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, so yeah, that that is um, the first item I wanted to show you guys that I finally went in and um, got my small ring agenda hot stamped. Okay, so now we're going to go into the second item. Which is the small. If you guys saw my other little video when I popped on real quick and told you guys that I have been sick for the past couple of weeks. I, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I am still sick. I don't know what kind of virus or what is going on, but I know a lot of people are sick. You can't even leave out the house without hearing everybody coughing. And the cough sticks around. It just lingers. So I didn't want to make a YouTube video because it would be too much editing. Editing out every single time I cough. Um... So yeah, let me um, quickly open this one and I'll show you guys what I got. When I made that short little video, I mentioned that there may be a small unboxing coming and this is it. So for this, I told my husband, you know, I'm going to go, 
um, get this item. And he was like, no, let me buy it for you. And I was, I kept saying no. And then eventually I was just like, okay, um, go ahead. You, you can buy it for me. And he was like, okay, great. We'll go get it. I don't know, like the next day or whatever. So <clears throat> this is what I got. This is the Victorine wallet. And you guys know if you watch any of my other videos, um, whenever I do a what's in my bag or sometimes the SLG comparison videos, you guys know that I don't have or didn't have a um, Louis Vuitton wallet. The other wallet I had for several years, it was the Emily wallet. Um, I got it when it first came out and um, I kept it for several years. I wound up dropping it off to get reglazed because the glazing was messed up, starting to get messed up on the flap. And um, <clears throat> once I got it reglazed, I put it away and never used it. And then I was like, you know what? Since I'm not using this, I'll give this to my daughter as well. Um, she's using the wallet. She loves it. Um, yeah, so it's hers now. So ever since I gave her that a few years ago, my intention was to go back and get myself, you know, just find another wallet. And um, I started using my clays um, and my um, card holder. And I've been able to get by for the past couple of years without even needing a wallet. But eventually it dawned on me that, you know what, when you want to carry cash, you really have to fold your cash up in order to bring it. And you kind of get tired of doing that after a while. So, yeah, I figured um, I'll get this one. This one's kind of tried and true. If you look back on Louis, v I mean, if you look back on the YouTube videos, you'll see people doing reviews on this um, Victorine wallet five, six years ago or so. So, um, it's been around for a long time. Um, I was able to get mine with the silver, with the gold, um, little button closure here. And then when you open it up, I got the classic brown. Um, here is the hot stamping on here. The same person who hot stamped it, hot stamped this one. So again, as you can see, the hot stamp is pushed down low, like fairly close to this instead of centered in the middle. And then also, if you look, it's not really spaced out that wide. It's kind of smushed together. Um, and so, yeah, when I opened this, just like with this, I wasn't really exactly, it wasn't what I was expecting. Um, but like I said, I checked both of them before I left the store. So, yeah, it just is what it is at this point. And you guys notice, too, like this gold foiling. But then on this one, this is a few years old. It's just black. So I'm not sure why they do some items one way and some items the other way. But yeah, I just noticed that. Um, this one is made in France. Um, not that it matters. I don't even care. I don't pay attention to that. But I know some people do. So yeah. Also with the zipper pull, um, some people say they don't like this little... I hate to use the word, but it's like a little chintzy piece of leather. Um, but to be honest, <clears throat> Hermes does the same thing. So um, on my Kelly bag, my zipper pull inside of the Kelly bag on the back wall, on the inside of the bag, it has a leather zipper pull as well. And then also the pouch that comes in my, um, let me get it. Okay, so this is the pouch that comes in the um, her bag zip. And as you can see, this zipper pull here is leather. So it's a, you know, this is something that Hermes does. They give you this little leather zipper pull. But this is a nice little feature on the end of their zippers. Even inside of my bag, it has a little H. So that's a nice little touch. And I noticed a few years ago, Chanel started doing that as well. So you get a little CC logo at the end of the zipper. But yeah, um... If I'm accepting this from Hermes, then I can definitely accept it from Louis Vuitton. Um, besides the Emily wallet, where is it? The Emily wallet that I had, it had the same th thing. And all I would do when I would close up the wallet is uh, make sure the zipper is on the inside and not on the outside. Some people like the way that look when it sticks out on the outside. I don't really care for that. So I always put it back. That way, um, it's not getting wear and tear, and I don't have to worry about it fraying or, you know, becoming discolored or just messed up. When you keep it back this way, it actually stays straight. 
um, yeah, it actually stays straight that way. And then it's, you know, obviously no damage is going to come to it if it's inside of there like that. I had my Emily wallet for years and mine looked brand new. Um, even though I had it for several years, even sent it off to be glazed, let it sit in a box for a few years and then wound up giving it to my daughter. Um, it was still brand new, but at the same time, the popper thing on the front of mine still looked brand new as well. Um, I know a lot of people will complain if it's leather wrapped because they wind up looking bad fast. Um, so years ago, you can pick a color just like with the Emily wallet. Mine was orange on the inside and then my push button closure here was orange. I like that now and I'm assuming they changed it a few years ago that you can get it in the classic um, brass button closure and then it's got the classic brown leather. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I figured I'll keep this um, forever I guess I could say which is why I was okay putting my um, initials on it. I feel like it's such a classic wallet. I was surprised when I got it, um, or when I went into the store to look at it, how big it was. I was, I don't know why I was expecting for it to be smaller, um, but there's tons of reviews on this wallet. So here you have an extra large bill compartment. You could put, I don't know, if you're into couponing, I know some people are, you can put your coupons in here, receipts, cash, you don't have to fold, really fold, well some of the receipts are long so you would fold them, but this is much, much longer than your regular, um, you know the length of your cash and then of course you know you got the three pocket three slits on this the three slits on this this is more than what I had in the Emily wallet because the Emily wallet only had four card slots on the front which is fine because I usually carry on average four to five cards anyways I only carry extra cards if that's where I'm going like um if I'm going to Gap and want to use my Gap card, then that's the only time I would actually put that Gap card in my wallet. You know what I mean? Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense to carry it. Um, and then it's got a slip compartment here. Another slip compartment here on this side. And then the zipper compartment. The zipper compartment is not gusseted. So you might be limited on how much coins you could put inside. Um... I usually just leave my coins in my car anyway. I leave some in my wallet, but typically, um, yeah. And so this is just what this says inside. But yeah, I'm assuming you could probably scan this, maybe? Let me hold it up closer. I think this side is English, maybe? Yeah. It's interesting that this says interiors Vaquetta leather. Um, it doesn't feel like Vaquetta leather. This is Vaquetta leather. Maybe it's treated because it feels grainy. This part feels like Vaquetta leather though. The, the, just this back wall, not this one. This wall right here feels exactly like this, but this back wall right here does. Maybe that's what this leather looks like. Um, when it's not treated. Maybe this is, I don't know what I'm talking about. I have no, I don't know when it comes to leathers. All I know is that tag said Vaquetta leather um, interior and maybe it's not. I don't know, but anyway, so yeah. Um, let me see. I'm going to show you guys another luggage tag. This one goes on the Speedy 25. I was telling you guys about that one. Um, if you guys saw, I did a review, I think on both of these. Um, I don't know, maybe like a year ago on my channel. And um, this is for the Epi Leather um, Speedy Bandolier 25. It's black with, I don't know if it's palladium hardware, or it's definitely like a silver color hardware. And then this one is the Vaquetta Leather with the gold um, hardware. And on both of these, I put um, these lobster clasps because I find it easier to hang it on your bag. In fact, I have my um, Alma right here. Let me move some of the stuff out of the way. This is the bag that I wore to the store because it was raining. And you guys know Damier Bean does well in the rain. So I'll show you how easy it is to click this on with this lobster claw. And then it just lays straight. So no matter how I put, and I showed this in, um, in another video, that no matter how, um, because when you don't have this, you're gonna wrap this around the hardware. 
So when you lift it up, this will move. Let me take this off. Yeah, so when you, um, and this is a strap from a speedy bandolier um, that I bought as a spare part. I, I did a review on this bag. So when you lift the strap up, um, this moves. But when you put it on a lobster claw, it doesn't move and it allows it just to lay flat. That's why um, I like to put my luggage tags on these type of clasp because it just lays flat. And if you notice, I don't have my strap attached here because on my review of the Alma bag, I talked about, I talked about that. So I'm not even going to go into detail, but yeah, so that's it. That's all. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Just a quick unboxing. I didn't, um, go out and just, you know, I don't really do a lot of shopping or anything like that. I just didn't have, um, all my SLGs that I usually carry in my handbag are Louis Vuitton and I didn't have a Louis Vuitton wallet. So I figured I'd go get one. And that's it. That's it. That's all. I hope you like the video. Bye.